Hey all you super players out there, Ben Lorris aka 5 Buck Lunch, and today we're talking Vermilion Bloodline Secret Rares. We've had all of them previewed so far, so we're going to take a look at them. Uh, a lot of people were really unimpressed by how good the Secret Rares were, but I think they're kind of deceptively better than people think they are. People are kind of taking a look at the, you know, the wrong aspects of the cards. So let's go ahead and start with Vegito Warrior the from Another Dimension. This is a black unison card. So... Since it's black, it doesn't have any specific energy costs. It has double strike, and it can't attack if it has three or fewer markers on it. For its plus one, you can place X cards from your energy in their owner's drop areas. If you do, place X cards from your drop area in your energy and rest mode. And then its plus zero is active main for one of each color. Draw three cards. This card gets plus 15k power and triple attack for the turn. And your opponents can only activate counter skills one more time for the turn. And then it starts at base of 25k power. A lot of people have really written this secret rare off. And while it's not as powerful as a lot of the other ones, it's really interesting because it's more of like an early game impact card. And the fact that you can drop this on turn 2 for 2 energy, plus 1 to 3, and have a 25k double striker that your opponent can't really answer at all for the next couple turns. Because keep in mind, in order to get rid of this off the board, your opponent has to deal 25k power to it 3 times, which is pretty tall order like that's not something you can just necessarily do and unless you have other ways to get rid of counters off of unison cards this is kind of just going to kind of stick around for the rest of the game as a 25k double striker every single turn so that's really not bad at all like for more aggressive decks you can kind of just stick this into any aggro deck and it just becomes a massive threat on turn two um that being said obviously it's not so much of a game ender card as more of like a war of attrition card where it's just gonna sit there as a 25 day double striker your opponent can't deal with the whole pay one of each red en or each energy to you know make it a 40k triple attacker uh while nice i don't think that's going to be used a whole lot except in like very specific decks and the very specific decks already have like good secret rares that go in them so I think this is more of going to be used just as a really big threat in decks like possibly Vegix or any other like aggressive decks where you just want a big double striker you can play on turn two. Also, it could see some play in decks that do energy manipulation. Uh, for example, this could you could use this in the Trunks deck, the blue Trunks deck, to get rid of your Gokus and Vegetas that you've charged in order to have that be a permanent ramp instead of getting rid of them at the end of the turn. Or people have mentioned putting it in Android 21 and using it off for leader effect. So any decks like that where you can really abuse that plus one is also going to be playing uh, this card. Next up we have Baby Hatchack Saiyan Destroyer. This is kind of my personal favorite secret rare. Uh, it's an 8 drop blue ultimate counter attack. If you have 3 more energy, negate the attack and play this card. Your opponent can't attack for the turn. And then if it's removed from your battle area, it's removed from the game instead. So you can't like bounce it back to your hand to use again. Uh, permanent, if your leader card is mono blue, you can choose one other card in your hand and discard it instead of you playing this card's energy cost when activating this counter skill from the hand. I actually think this card is really powerful, and a lot of people are kind of underestimating it because it's not like a game-ending secret rare. That being said, the fact that this is basically a turn skip for your opponent is really powerful, and all you have to do is discard any card with a mono blue leader. I, I think that's just really insane. There's a lot of decks right now that have like a big turn on like three or four where they plan on killing you. And you can simply play this and just stop that whole turn. And there's not really anything your opponent can do about it either. People have mentioned that this is just like Topo. But not only can you attack through Topo technically if you're far enough ahead. But if you counter Topo coming into play, the Topo effect stops. So if you use something like... Uh, uh, something as simple as like the agent counter that counters a three or less or anything like that like you can just stop topo but since the effect of your opponent can't attack is on the counter attack for this there actually is almost no way to stop it you have to play a counter counter that negates the counter skill and that doesn't really i mean it exists in the game but it's not really played so it's essentially an unnegatable turn skip uh another big important thing is like the counter trunks that uh, you can play for free if you have a unison you can counter a topo but if you, you can't use that to counter this because you still can't attack for the turn and they're just going to use it again because they never hit the board so it just becomes a lot more powerful than something like topo um so yeah i think this card is really really good and probably going to be a mainstay of any mono blue deck also i'd like to point out that even though it's not a you know a big finisher 40k single strike on 
basically at uh, turn three is not nothing either. Like, it's going to be putting some pressure on. Uh, next up, we have SS4 Broly, the Great Destroyer. This is an 8-drop red. Ultimate Barrier Double Strike, 40k. Active main, choose one mono red Saiyan card with original power of 35k in your battle area. Place it in its owner's drop area. Play this card from your hand, then choose up to one of your mono red leader cards. It gets plus 10k power until the start of your next turn. And permanent... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All cards in your opponent's leader area, battle area, and combo area gets minus 5k power uh, slash combo power. So, this card is obviously very, very strong. Um, it's ultimate, it's got or it's got barrier and double strike, and that all cards in your opponent's leader area and battle area and combo area get minus 5k power slash combo power is absolutely insane. Like, if this hits the board... Your opponent is going to be having a very, very hard time stopping you from doing anything. They can't put power into their attacks. They can't put power into their uh, defensive combos at all. Um, all of their battle cards get minus 5k. So anything 5k or less just immediately dies and their leader is permanently 5k less. So like this card is obviously incredibly powerful. The weakness in this card is that I think there's only three cards in the game you can actually use to get into it. Uh, the... Swap Broly out of the new set, which is obviously what the card was made for. Or the... I believe there are some Vegito cards that also can be played from this. So, the problem is, while this card is obviously really, really good, there isn't a strong enough deck to really to play it in. I'm not really convinced on the Swap Broly deck. I don't think it's going to be good enough. We'll see. I could be wrong on that, to be fair. We haven't really seen deck like it in the past, so there isn't really a good metric. But it doesn't seem super good to me. That being said, this could prop up Vegito to be a little bit more interesting. Uh, the fact that you have such a really ridiculous finisher like this is really strong, and searching Red Saiyans isn't super difficult, so you could get it with reasonable consistency in the deck too. But yeah, that's the big problem with this uh, Secret Rare, is it just doesn't fit in anything. There's literally only two decks you can play it in. Um, I mean, in the future, we could see more targets for this, which would make it better. Obviously, it's a really insanely powerful card, so uh, we'll have to see, or whether it can elevate the ones we have. Um, but that being said, I do think that these uh, Secret Rares are stronger than last set's Secret Rares, if not stronger than, obviously, Baby in the one, or uh, Cell Zeno and the ones like that. Like, obviously, those are really more powerful, and if you can play it, you're probably still going to be playing Cell Zeno and stuff like that. But Mono Blue has really needed a Secret Rare. There isn't really one you can play, so that's obviously going to make Hat Jack very good. Broly is going to be good in the decks you can play it in, and I think Vegito is going to be good in, like, Hyper Aggro type decks as just a turn two play where you can throw down a double, 25 double strike that your opponent can't really deal with and is just going to stay there for the rest of the game. What do you guys think? Think I'm crazy? You think these cards all suck? I know a lot of people have been saying that these secret rares are really unimpressive, where I actually don't think they're that bad. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think is the most powerful one? What one are you going to be looking for on day one? Go out there, play some super, and have some fun.